but obviously if you get injured enough and you go into danger, if you're injured even further, then you'll fall to the ground and when you fall to the ground your virus gauge will go up one whole percent every second pretty much. So if someone doesn't pick you up, which you don't expect the artificial intelligence to do, then you're dead. Uh, okay, so... Finally. Alien. <laughs> nice little alien reference there. So it kind of reminds me of a chest buster. So it's pretty cool in that regard that they've. Well, it just seems to me like it's a bit of a, a nod. Alright. It's showdown time. Alright, so that's the wonderful G-Mutant for you. Um, yeah, when it opens its mouth there, it totally reminds me of Alien. So yeah, this boss is pretty annoying. I'm just going to put it down as fast as I can with my Magnum rounds, which I've just run out of. Um, it is pretty annoying, this battle, to be honest, because as you can see, it spawned tinier... Uh, sorry, spawned tiny G-Mutants, baby G-Mutants. And they jump like that. They just jump and they'll latch onto you and they'll damage you ever, gra ever so gradually, but so yeah, the main goal is oh, bastard, he almost got me um, the main goal here is to just put this G-Mutant thing down as fast as possible so it doesn't spawn so many baby G-Mutants oh Christ just die already George, help yourself nice that wasn't so bad Yet I feel something will change dramatically when I know everything. Oh damn, D, that sucked. Took 54 minutes to complete that, and only 66... yeah. Well, what I'm gonna do is just start doing test runs from now on um, of the scenario. The next scenario is called The Hive and I'll be test running that first of all before I even attempt it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching Below Freezing Point and I'll see you in the next part. The Hive.